What's up YouTube, this is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona on this Monday, February 20th, 2017. And I uh, wanted to do a special video. Um, I need to clear out some roster space. Uh, some of my rewards are about to expire in about an hour. And uh, as you can see here, we have quite a bit of three stars and some four stars to add in. Um, I got about an hour and 18 minutes till that Deadpool disappears, and I don't want to let that happen. But what I want to do first is make actually a big enchilada video um, showcasing a team that I haven't used yet, but I think is going to be very interesting and might make for a really excellent combination. So, uh, without further ado, let's get to that video for the big enchilada. If you're a regular on the channel, welcome back. If you're a newcomer, thank you so much for stopping by, clicking that link. And if you guys do like the content of this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. You can click the little notification bell right next to subscribe for instant notifications as soon as these videos become posted. You can also follow me on Twitter at MrMPQ for more updates on Marvel Puzzle Quest. And uh, the team that I wanted to use today, uh, the reward for this big enchilada today is Sentry. I wanted to do this first before doing the rock because of, <clears throat> you know, I don't want to pass up on rewards and have to wait two weeks to claim it on my next video. So, um, but this is the thing I came up with. Red Hulk, Quake, and Thanos. So, of course, four star Quake and Red Hulk. Thanos is a three star. But this is what I thought would be interesting. So this court death ability is going to death ability is a little high. Actually, uh, when you come in, it was an extra 360 to all enemies and 1065 to allies. Now, Quake has an ability called Coordinated Tactics, which is a passive, and what it does is it reduces team damage by uh, anything that's going to affect the entire team by 1739 to a minimum of 1. Now, my question is, does that affect friendly abilities that damage the team. So this would also apply to Carnage if this is successful and also Sentry who is the uh, required character and also the reward for Big Enchilada today. Um, so I think if this proves successful um, this may open a whole new uh, combination of teams that I would put Quake on and that these other characters might be uh, more successful with the less team damage taken. So I picked Red Hulk because he is the last color I needed red. Um, we got red, green, and purple from him, blue, green, and yellow from Quake, and then black, green, and purple from Thanos. And Red Hulk has an ability, Gamma Siphon, which is going to drain all the enemy green AP and generate 7 for the friendly team. That 7 green friendly is going to go towards Come and Get Me, which is a team damaging attack. Um, with a countdown tile, of course, for 43.67. Um, really good for wave-based events um, such as Big Enchilada. You set up those countdown tiles right before the, the wave goes down, and then you get all that damage on the fresh set of enemies right off the bat. So that's the strategy. That's what we're going to work towards. Um, I take these random boosts. I don't have any reason not to. the guy. Um, so what we want to work on is generating, well basically all colors, but what I really want to use is um, pretty much all passives because Thanos' Court Death is passive, uh, Quake's Resonance Frequency is passive, and then I want to get these purples for Red Hulk and some greens if I can. So we're just going to make some simple matches right off the bat and try to get these colors stacked up so we can see what effect it has when an enemy dies. <clears throat> Let me take this purple here. And he's about to go down in just a minute. And I'll take this black one. So if my theory's right, it's going to take one damage to my team that did not work. So, 
theory busted, but theory was tested. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, not too shabby at all. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, I'll take yellow here. And green. A little bit of damage off that. Not too bad, though. Go blue. Get some nice cascade action. And I want to kill him before this goes off and he gets all that health. I think. Green does he have? Ten? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then... Well, we'll do it and see what happens. <clears throat> so that's enough to stop the countdown. Now we're dealing with some Ultron drones and a Criterion in the back. Um, I've always hated that Shadow Knives ability, so I'm going to get rid of the Criterion first. Also, he's passively generating AP for the team. So he's a pain in the tuchus. All right. Uh, green. All right. And... So we got to be careful matching reds because of that ambush tile. Um, that's going to deal quite a bit of damage, although because it's a lower level. Survey says 2,025 damage um, if matched by friendly. So what I want to do is use resonance frequency to get rid of all the red tiles and hopefully get that trap tile out of the way and it didn't specify trap tile destroyed so we might never know okay let's go ahead and do this one and we're gonna do this one. Nice. Well, we got rid of those countdown tiles, so it's not a total loss. Let's get rid of this one. the ability. Down goes the team, and because everybody died in that wave, it doesn't deal extra damage to anybody else, so it doesn't deal team damage, so that's an important strategy technique as well. If you're thinking about using Thanos in a wave-based event, you want to avoid taking that team damage. Just make sure you use that ability and take out everybody. So you might need to whittle somebody's health down. You might need to uh, save that for opportune moment in order to keep that damage from affecting your team as much as everybody else. Let's get rid of these countdown tiles with the blue over here. Alright, so... We got enough there. We'll do this. Do that. Okay, and then get rid of the screen here. And use purple. And that drains their green AP.
15. All right, well, it sets us up with a nice match five here at the bottom, so we'll take that. And because Thanos is stunned, um, is not taking that extra damage uh, for killing an enemy. Get rid of some extra countdown tiles here. And then seeing red, that passive is going to create some greens. Or, oh, create some cascades. Wrong Hulk ability. Um, okay, so then we are here with the greens again. Take a couple extra. And bada bing bada boom. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this instead. Just because. So now that tile goes off. Everybody dies. You don't take the extra damage. And. <clears throat> awesomeness. So, for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and put that tile out there. But I want to focus on the empiricist here and deal damage to him to get him uh, a little bit weaker okay let's let's do this Court Death kicks in, takes those guys, and that's a win. So it's like a double team attack, um, getting everybody with Come Get Me, then hitting everybody with Court Death. And there's the Sentry Reward, a little VIP bonus action, extra ISO. I'll take it. So let's get back to the roster. Uh, make sure we sell off all the one stars first. Go to the three stars, and we're going to start all the way at the bottom. So it should be about 85 rewards or so. 83. Um, and I know a couple are four stars, so we'll call it 80, uh, give or take. So we're going to start at the bottom of the list so we don't miss any of those rewards. And here we go with adding in Deadpool. He breaks the 200 mark. He gets the 202. And at 203, he's going to get an extra three command points. And we will do a uh, legendary draw if we get any legendary tokens or enough command points to do so. Gamora is up to 185. She is on the lower end of my three stars. There's some command points. There's some more ISO. What I'm hoping for is to be able to max and uh, champion another four star character. We'll see if that happens tonight. I may not make it to enough ISO. Have to wait, so. Three Star Storm breaking the 200 plane as well. She's a couple levels off from those command points at 203. Um, that's okay. So, Three Star Thor. Getting into some uh, higher 200 category here. Four command points at 214. So, waiting on those on the next Three Star Thor cover. Add level to Loki. Dakin. He's up to 202. Also sitting on some command points at the next level. All kind of right around the same ballpark there. 202 for Bullseye. Or I'm sorry, for Daredevil. We got a Moon Knight cover. Four star Moon Knight from Sentry by leveling him up. Um, I know that Moon Knight's green ability is at... Five already, <clears throat> so I won't be able to use that cover until I uh, champion him. And as much as I want to, actually I really want to, but I think I'm not going to have enough ISO for a little while. So I may sit on that cover and see what happens. Wait, Moon Knight's a three star. I believe. It's a four star. We'll get to that. <clears throat> Uh, Dr. Doom, up to 194, Mystique, takes a couple extra covers as well, 185, Hulk, he's my highest 
two uh, three star, so that does get a legendary token. So we will draw that at the end of the video. So level 227 for a three star champion is a legendary token. 195, you get a heroic. Black Panther's up to 196. <clears throat> Another heroic token from Falcon, three star Falcon, he's up to 196. We get a couple Doctor Strange covers. We got a Nova cover. It's beautiful. If you guys hear some snoring or some like funky breathing, I got my little girl here through the video. So that is probably what you hear. Um, Captain America, three star Steve Rogers, up to 214, sitting on some command points at his next level up. 215 is where those command points come into play. All right. Hulk, take a couple extra covers there up to 190. Great support class character. One for Colossus up to 192. Kamala Khan, getting some command points at 203. Thank you very much. Uh, Punisher, some more command points. Thank you very much. I'll take those. And uh, Punisher is part of a great team for the Top Gun event. I have a a pretty successful team I set up with a three-star Falcon, three-star Punisher, and three-star Blade. Um, covers all the color spectrum, which is always important to me. And also with Blade's passive strike tile ability generation, uh, Punisher's strike tile generation, plus inspiration, um, can really lay people out. And then as soon as you get enough red for retribution, once you're past 40%, it's game over at level 5. There's some more command points from Magneto. He's up to 204. So really it's just a great team. And then after I started using it, I realized, oh, uh, thanks Iron Man for some command, command points there. Um, a lot of other people actually are using it too. Um, I was able to take on some higher level teams, I think because it's AI based and not actual player based uh, strategy. So uh, there goes Iron Fist up to 217. Uh, I was able to uh, actually take out some higher level teams of the same people just based on pure strategy, going for the match fives instead of match fours, and um, timing of using abilities. Um, so if you have those three in combination, they're high enough level to compete. Uh, I highly recommend that team as well for the Top Gun event. That's a PvP. If you're into that kind of stuff, some pretty uh, easy... Uh, Points and rewards there. Lots of opportunity for ISO. Alright, so you get some hero points off of Beast. Get a couple Thanos covers, which we just used. And uh, he's up to 177 now. Uh, Luke Cage gets a heroic token at 211. And a couple Ragnaroks, actually. One from a champion and one from the Big Inchilada, or no, Big Inchilada Sentry. I'll just, I forget. Did we already get, oh, we already got the Sentry one somewhere else. All right, so there are our uh, three star covers. And then four star, yes, there's Moon Knight. Maybe a champion, maybe not, we'll see. So I do have quite a few Mordo covers to add in. I'm definitely going to level up Venom. Uh, Agent Venom's black ability here, which is uh, military might, and that is now at level 4. So this is going to drain 2 AP from the highest friendly colored AP pool and deals 1999 in damage. Passively, if you have at least 15 AP in any color, this power becomes alien weakness. Um, so trying to uh, avoid that from happening by using those abilities, and I'm not stacking it past 15. Um, in any color does not include team up so you can have more than 15 team up but not in any color AP so that is important strategy there so he goes to a 442 build um, looking for a few more covers for him uh, Mordo we're gonna go ahead and add these on and staff of the living tribunal gets up to level four uh, for seven black AP is going to convert two black basic tiles to charge tiles. If there are four or more black charge tiles, deal 211 to the enemy team for each black charge tile, then destroy them. So that would be basically uh, 844 
damage total if you were uh, to count all four black charge tiles on the board. Um, <clears throat> and then what I really want to do is get this one up to level five because for the same cost, it converts three black basic tiles to charge tiles and on the next turn can use all three of those um, for 454 each which is uh, about 1200 and, or, uh, 1350 so that is a big jump in damage from level 4 and then plus the damage the base damage increases by 700 so that's I don't know like uh, 1100 1200 extra in damage just right there um, so that's that's pretty significant um, so he's uh, got a purple cover here as well. We're going to add in power with purpose and for nine purple AP. Uh, stuns the target for one turn, steals one blue and one purple AP. At higher levels, goes up to two. Add in black at level four and then at level five it's stealing three purple, blue, and black AP while still stunning for one turn. Um, <clears throat> and then for the four stars, I'm not sure which one I'm going to champion. I know I don't have enough purple ISO yet just to do that so I think I'll hold on to that ghost rider just in case I need a four star champion that has black um, these all three all three of these characters have black as one of their abilities um, while I would love for it to be any one of these three we've got to see uh, what other rewards I get in the next week or so and then how much ISO I can save up in order to get that no five star rewards to draw so where are my other uh, two stars? Yep, working on saving uh, bullseye covers to reboot that character. So as you can see, our uh, roster is still at 123. We got rid of about mm, 75 rewards in total, adding in three stars and four stars to the roster. And actually what we're going to do, uh, take Mordo up as high as he can get with those extra covers. It's not much. 37 ISO is some chump change for for the moment, so we get him up to 147, and at least then he's viable for some other uh, opportunities. Oh, she's already maxed. All right, so yep, so is she. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this strategy for Big Enchilada. Um, the abilities didn't do everything I hoped they would. Um, but it was still a great team up to use, um, creating lots and lots of damage. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the roster boost as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can share links to this video out on Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, whatever you guys are on these days. And uh, help me reach other questers just like yourself. <clears throat> you can follow me on Twitter. I'll put a link to my account down below, at Mr. MPQ. And look for the next video coming up. Should be Crash of the Titans in a few days here. Um, I think the last one was on Thursday, which was my day off. Um, so the next one should be coming up any day now. And uh, I will post that video once I'm done with it. So until next time, as always, keep on questing. Have a great night, guys, and we'll see you around. So, uh, P.S., I was getting ready to upload the video and then I realized we didn't put legendary marks so or legendary uh, tokens so let's go ahead and do that real quick and we actually have three to draw so this is big time all right so uh, one happy baby later hopefully uh, we have a five percent drop rate for Black Widow, Doctor Strange, or Thanos Okay, so one happy baby later, we have a four star reward, Star Lord, Punisher, four star, and quite perfect. So <clears throat> we'll do one of these classic legends as well. And four star Venom Eddie Brock. Perfect. So let's go ahead and um, add Quake and Punisher to the roster. And that 
let's see. So Earthquake is going to go up to level 3, which is going to deal 13, 46 damage to the enemy team and shuffle the game board. So she is now a 3-4-4 four, four build. And Venom is a 4-4-5 four, four, build. And I think I'm going to keep him at a 4-4-5. Four, four, I haven't. Uh, this would be the one to level up to five. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to leave it right where it is because I like this setup so far. So I will hold on to that cover in the meantime. Uh, Punisher is right here. So he is going to now be a 3-5-0 build. And Punish for 10 black AP is going to deal 1538 damage plus 279 per strike tile. And Army of One creates two strike tiles. Alright, so there that is, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying t tuned for the video. Uh, bonus draws. Sorry, I forgot about that in the original video. But now you know. Until next time, see you guys soon.